Hey, I'm Steve Okers. Julie Bacon, <laughs> Sue Pastor. And this is what's in the cup. Cheers. Oh, I got a refill. We're at Roots Brew Shop here on the west side, and they've been so gracious to host us, so we really appreciate them. Yes. Um, and we are just having a coffee conversation that we're glad that you're participating in about personality profiles. So this is the fourth in the series, um, which is the C personality, right? Yeah. So what does mm -hmm. C stand for? Do we know? Uh, Do we know? Compliant. Compliant. Con yeah, rule yeah. follower, conscientious. Right. Can be controlling, can be critical. <laughs> can be See, it's controlling for us. Well, it's, yeah. Um, and critical, the person that as soon as right. you say something goes, I don't I don't agree with that. They need right. to find out the facts before they're going to agree with right. you. You want to present an Excel spreadsheet to yeah. the facts yeah. to this facts. person. So the uh, celebrity or person someone might know out there that would be a C would be who to you guys? Who do you know that would be a C? Bill Gates. Bill Gates would probably be one of the top. Right? Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. We talked just in general about kind of that engineering profession, yep. accounting, oh, um, people who really have to follow formulas. That's yep. a C personality. Yeah, I always think of the analytical person, right? So that person that wants to argue data, right, mm -hmm. and argue, you know, this said this said this, right? Um, there, there can be very big history buffs, right, yes. because they want to understand what history meant analyze it to then determine what their future is based on that that thing, right? They they traditionally do not run on their guts at all, no. right? They I think our title plant is full of C's. <laughs> That's what they Which do. Which is good. That's what it's they exactly do, right? exactly their And their margin for error is very little. They, they right. don't want to have any errors, which is why they're so conscientious. Yeah. They, they hate being wrong or you yeah. know, hate mm -hmm. making Absolutely. mistakes. Right. So how do we work with them? Right. So there, you know, you get a, you want to hire an admin. Is a C something that an admin that, that you would hire traditionally or no? Your thoughts on that? I would. Go ahead. Yeah. yeah. Um, what would be the value of that for you to have that person be part of your team? Um, keeping me organized yep. and making sure that I'm doing things when I'm supposed to be doing them Yep. and reminding me to follow through. Yep. Yep. Now in, Sorry, no, I'm go. take this one no, over. Um, yeah. I've, Good. I've, yeah. Be dominant. <laughs> I've, <laughs> I've worked with quite a few C's, and you know, I have made some mistakes until I learned DISC. Yeah. And once I did, I figured out that even if I presented my paperwork not perfectly, but that they knew that I really tried because I respected yep. them that the relationship went so much better. And I'm not, I'm using that yep, metaphorically, absolutely. but they really respect us trying. Yeah, I mean, and a D and I personality in the real estate space might not worry about fully filling out their purchase agreement because they're just going a C. If you have that one on your team, they're going to be the check and balances. So, you know, your transaction coordinators traditionally are a C, yes. right? And they're the people that you're not going to talk to, but you're going to get tons of emails yes. from, and they're going to, they're going to, you know, a C is going to create system and process. The D and I need that. We don't want it, but mm -hmm. system and process makes a, a workplace flow, them. right? Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, yep. So um, I think that's C, right? Yeah. Um, I mean, they're 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 an interesting bunch. Well, right? I. I was just looking in here, it says, how can a C relate, how can we relate better to someone with yep. a C personality and um, respect their private natures. Mm. Um, those of us who are high I's or D's, we're all out there. Mm -hmm. You know, you can ask us anything, we say anything. Mm -hmm. They're very private people and we have to respect that. Um, it's not that they're trying to be standoffish, it's simply their nature. Um, and don't appear overly emotional. They really fear someone's going to come in with that kind of you know overly emotional come to them with if this happens this is what will happen to my client mm -hmm. or if this happens you know the the facts and then they will work through the scenario yeah. if, if they're a true C they're not going to make a decision without the data so yeah. just remember no. that especially if it's a consumer of yours um, and they're an accountant or an architect yeah. You need to provide the data to them. If you try just saying "trust me," that you we will, can't talk you, them you, into it. You will not allow. Yeah. They will not be your client for very long. Yeah. Do not they just trust. That doesn't mean that they're untrustworthy. But data is what they trust, yes. right? Yes. So, this is what's in the cup, and we are high D personalities. So we're going to be out with this conversation. We're out. See ya. See ya.